Hello to my friend and colleague, Bishop Dina Harrison, and to all of our friends in the Diocese of Texas. It is a real joy and a real privilege to be able to send this message of greeting and congratulations and thank you to you on this, the occasion of your formal retirement from active ministry and entering a new chapter, beginning a new day, of serving in a new way. And I am just overjoyed that one, you get this opportunity to retire and two, get an opportunity to rest a little bit and refresh and recreate and to begin anew in a new way serving our Lord Jesus. We had the privilege of working together on the Board of Episcopal Relief and Development some years ago now. And your skills of management, organization and leadership, your clarity of vision, your follow through, your sense of humor, your all of your spiritual gifts came to the fore and blessed Episcopal Relief and Development so profoundly that your contribution has helped to make it the incredible organization serving our Lord Jesus Christ that it is today. But that's only the tip of the iceberg. There are testimonies from folk throughout the Diocese of Texas and the Episcopal Church who can bear witness to the power of your ministry, your steadfast faith, your courageous leadership, and your incredible capacity to bear witness to Jesus in your life and in the world. It has been a privilege to serve with you, and I'm in your fan club, because I well remember at our last general convention held in the Diocese of Texas in Austin, I called you back into service to ask you to chair a critical committee for us, and you did, and you did it in the same way you do everything else, capably, faithfully, ably, and you did it the deed away. God bless you, my friend. God keep you. And may God hold you and Larry and your family and your loved ones. Indeed, may God hold us all in those almighty hands of